We got a diver on the surface here that just waves at the boat. Got a mask and, on the uh, head too, Bob. He's got his mask off. Mask on the head, all okay. right. You got him? I mean, it hurts uh, a lot. Lionfish are a very beautiful, ornate, wonderful fish that are native to the Indo-Pacific and Red Sea. Um, they started showing up in Atlantic waters off the coast of Florida as far back as 1985. And um, they're very popular in the aquarium trade, so even though we'll never be able to pinpoint the exact uh, releases that introduce these fish into our waters here, uh, we know it's facilitated through the aquarium trade. My name is Lad Akins. I'm the Director of Special Projects for REEF, the REEF Environmental Education Foundation. We're a marine conservation nonprofit organization based in Key Largo, Florida. And my main job focus is dealing with the non-native invasive lionfish problem that we now face in the Caribbean. One of the things we're most concerned about with this invasion is the impacts that lionfish are going to have through their predation on our native marine life. Lionfish are voracious predators, and uh, some recent research is showing that the impacts they're gonna have may be very dramatic. For those folks hunting lionfish today, I think that's what most everybody is here to do. The western side is the most traveled path, okay? The most traveled path. Everybody's looking for lionfish today and all the days before you guys come out. There's not as many on the western side. You're going to see them more on a deeper part of the reef, the less traveled area. Out in the top, 75 feet on that western side, on the eastern side, I'm sorry, going down towards about 80. That's the best spot to be for the lions, okay? Not to say you're not going to see them on the west side, but there's just not as many of them. Uh, when you hand up your bag, when you hand up your lionfish, they should be in a bag, okay? If they're not in a bag, uh, make sure the fins and spines are cut off, okay? Um, the past couple of months, every once in a while, we have a lionfish come up, it's not in a bag, lays around on a deck, somebody steps on it or hands it to another diver and they get poked by it, okay? Uh, we don't need any issues with the venom, of course, in the ends of the, the fins, okay? So if you're bringing them up, either cut the fins off it or have it in a bag if you're going to hand it up to us, and we'd be more than happy to take it from you, okay? Is there a pool for the biggest lionfish today? No, wow, what kind, of, what kind of fishing trip is this? No pool for the biggest line? Does anybody know what a pool is? <laughs> all right, guys, let's get out of here. 45 minute, half hour ride, we'll have you going, all right? I'm Bob Hickerson, team prepper captain out of Vero Beach. Um, we started working on this uh, lionfish control project about four years ago, three, four years ago, back in 09 when we started seeing them showing up in more and more numbers throughout the Caribbean. Uh, we decided to get proactive about it, do something about it. Uh, we've been working on um, innovative uh, control techniques, devices, new devices, catch bags, little mini spears. Um, been working with Reef, USGS, FIT in collection programs for public awareness and uh, in order to aid their research. So uh, 
feel as though it's, a, it's an important project and I uh, want to spread the word to all the divers out there to, to get involved. Don't just look, look at these lionfish underwater and pass them by. Do something about it. My name is Maria and I'm a lionfish hunter. Uh, when this creature is starting to show up, I decided to take part of it and be part of the solution. I do believe that divers can buy nature some time to keep the invasion at least out of the reefs that we dearly love and visit. I've been also doing some other stuff related to lionfish, like this jewelry I'm wearing, <laughs> made out of fish tails. And I do believe there is a market for that and it's an environmentally good thing to do. I'm Robert Radar Orth and I'm normally the boat captain for Team Prapper when we go do a lionfish derby or anything do with the Cape Crapper. I take our boat and my boat and run the boat for everybody and dive as well. Uh, I've been diving off Vero Beach since I was about 15 years old and the lionfish has gotten to be such an issue. I first read about it on the internet and had gone to Belize and went diving down there to do the blue hole in that and ran into quite a few lionfish and was real surprised at the numbers of them that they had down there. I think that the lionfish has gotten to be such a problem because as a fisherman and a fishing guide as well, I've noticed from what they eat and the devastation that they could uh, put forth on the reefs, not only in South Florida, but in the whole Caribbean, it kind of became important for me to do what I could to try and alleviate the problem. Hi, my name's Daryl Thomas. I'm on Team Frapper. My AK is Spotter and I was given that name by the very first time I ever hooked up with the team. Um, I was a new diver about a year ago and I heard about the lionfish contest and derbies that were going on through my job as a fish and wildlife biologist for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I've done like about 60 dives with them all catching lionfish from the east coast all the way down to the Keys and just had a wonderful time with them. We do this to clear the lionfish off the reefs. As many people know, they're an invasive species and taking over the reefs in the Caribbean and the Keys. So we do what we can to uh, help control the lionfish and have a good time. Hi, my name is Stephen Lee. Uh, I am on the uh, board of directors of Fools, which is stands for the Fraternal Order of Lionfish Slayers, which was started uh, about two years ago in Belize, of all places. We go around pools, goes around, and as I say, educating uh, different schools, uh, dive groups, and other areas to so that they understand what what the lionfish can do to a reef. Hi, I'm Mike, uh, Mike Ryan. I am the full-time dive instructor here at Horizon Divers in Key Largo, Florida. I've been with the shop now for about 10 years. I get to go out here diving every day. And I guess we're gonna take a little bit of a look today at what we have going on with lionfish. Here in the Florida Keys, we have a very active program. We're trying to control them. 
Now the idea is these are invasive fish. They do not belong here. We have several concerns about them from an ecological standpoint. The first one being they are gluttons, literally. This is the only species of fish I have ever seen that will literally eat until it cannot stuff anything else in its mouth. Now what we're doing here in the Florida Keys is as soon as we started sighting them, we set up a program for trying to control them. We've pretty much accepted the fact that they're here to stay. The only question is, can we keep it under control to where they don't really hurt the local fish populations? We've already had a couple of lionfish derbies here in the Florida Keys where we will set aside a one or two day period and set up teams and prizes. And the idea is, okay, take your team of divers, get out there in the water and see how many lionfish you can come back with. The most recent one we had was last year here in Key Largo. And in one 24 hour period, I believe the final count was around 600 lionfish they brought in. Now, getting the lionfish, my preferred method is to use these tools right here. If I have a lionfish sitting right down here in front, what I am going to do is get out my plastic nets underwater. I'm going to position one near the lionfish and I'm just going to kind of use the other one to real slowly just kind of try to steer him in and once I've got him, like that. Hi, my name is Damian Gork. I'm the operations manager here at the Fish House and Fish House Encore restaurants in Key Largo. Um, we're here to talk about lionfish. We've been serving lionfish now for, this is our second season that we've been serving the lionfish um, and it's taken off immensely. Lionfish is actually extremely, uh, extremely mild. It's very similar to hogfish, I guess you'd say. If you've never had hogfish, it's a very white meat. Uh, it's a little buttery. Um, it has more of a consistency of, uh, of a mahi-mahi, where it's not extremely flaky like you would get from a yellowtail or from a hogfish, but it's, uh, it's very light, very mild. Uh, basically, we got involved in this program through LAD with the reef organization. Uh, last year, he came in, they started off by doing a, um, a little cooking demonstration here with our chef, Peter. We have a couple different preparations that we do. We also we have, have it available as an appetizer where we do the smaller lionfish that we get in. We whole fry those um, and just serve that as an appetizer, so it's a very nice presentation on the plate. Um, we also have it available on the menu as a fish preparation from, and the customers have a choice of one of the, we probably have about 15 different preparations on the menu that they have to, to choose from. Man, what's the 
bombed, you know yet? Sting, it hurts. Uh, uh, it's right here, it's swollen up a little bit. It, I mean, it hurts uh, a lot. And uh, that's as far as I can close it up right now. It will uh, it'll go away in, you know, four or five hours. Uh, I'll, I'll put some heat on it as soon, as soon as we get in. I'll try to get this hot water as hot as I can onto it that, will, uh, uh, that I can take. And that will help break down the uh, toxins that are inside my finger right now. Um, I got stung by a lionfish two weeks ago, and it's actually still swollen. I got stung in three spots. Um, we had a guy bring it up without cutting the spines off. It wasn't in a bag, and somehow I ended up getting stung. It was the worst pain I've ever felt. I was bawling on the boat. Um, I, I think I had a pretty bad reaction. I was throwing up, I had a fever, I was sweating. It hurt for about three days, three to five days it was painful. I couldn't pick anything up, couldn't carry anything. And it's, like I said, still swollen. Um, I was told it might stay swollen for about six months. Uh, you're supposed to soak it in hot, as hot water as you can stand. We obviously didn't have hot water on the boat, but somebody brought coffee, so I soaked it in hot coffee. And then I got home and soaked it in hot water. I put a little bit of Epsom salt in it, they say, to draw out the poison. Uh, exciting dive. I dropped in about 85, 90 foot, got on uh, line right, right away, and uh, Maria was able to do a live capture on that. Uh, fit quite nicely into the new catch bag we're working on for live capture. So that, that's working good. Uh, rest of the team uh, rooted out a few more lionfish. Uh, got one trapped and another two live captured. Chased uh, had a three pound lobster around the reef for a few minutes. and. It went to go hide in a, in a cave, and out comes a big moray and grabs a lobster mid-water. Boom! <laughs> very, very, very exciting. Uh, yeah. The fish that I saw were too uh, far into the uh, reef crevice for me to reach with my tank, so I couldn't get them, unfortunately. But it's a beautiful dive. There's lots of fish down there. And um, it was, yeah, like hardly any current. Yeah, there's two big moray eels. I mean, it's a beautiful dive. You can't beat it. It was a good day of lion fish hunting. We have... Uh, a couple pounds, um, which will make a great meal. This one will fillet, 
I think I have four or five will fly and uh, four, uh, four. four uh, that will uh, maybe cut hole. Any? Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Fish, one lobster. We dumped the back side of the reef, about 75 to 85 feet. And we got lions anywhere from 2 to 3 inches up to probably 15, maybe some 16s. We got some big ones back there. It was a real good day. Everybody had a good time. And uh, just as much as they had a good time, they took some live fish off the reef. Hopefully they'll slow it down a little bit and put an end to this problem. Every little bit adds up. Maybe one day they won't be here anymore. That's all I gotta say about it. I got this. I got this. Good job on all the lionfish killing. You're doing a good job to protect count? the reefs. And what was our total count? Did we get it? 33? 33. All right. Yay. All right. all right, guys, we're gonna be docking the boat. If everybody could please take a seat, that would be greatly appreciated. We'll be there in just a second. 38, not 33. And so this is, this is in recognition of, of your um, efforts to help remove the lionfish from these waters. Thank you. You've always been I very, very greatly, supportive. I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, we will do our best fly it, to carry fly it well. as more divers as possible to keep our reef uh, clean. Absolutely.